Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the Phone Gap video tutorial. In my last video tutorial, we have talked about uh, the SQLite plugin, okay, or the difference between Web SQL and SQLite, okay. What are the benefits of using SQLite, or what are the disadvantages of using the Web SQL? What are the advantages of Web SQL, okay? So today, uh, I'm gonna show you the simple demo of the SQLite plugin. Okay, firstly, you need to install this plugin uh, to your project. Okay, so let's start by installing this plugin to your project. Just open the Node.js command prompt, go to the, your project. Okay, but before that, let me change. Let me back up this. Okay, now here I'm gonna install the light plugin. You can get it from okay. Let 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 me check. Okay, no problem. Just select this URL. Open your command prompt, write the command Cordova plugin add double, clo double quotes and uh, paste and then enter. It will automatically clone to your project, clone the Cordova SQLite plugin to your project. Okay guys, and the plugin is installed successfully, just uh, check it out in our project. So here just refresh this and uh, you can see the SQLite jar, SQLite jar is available here. Okay, now uh, we have to make, uh, okay now firstly I am gonna comment all the stops which we have created already okay so here uh, just comment this okay and uh, now just open the readme document I'm just closing this here Okay, uh, on the device dot ready, I'm gonna just copy all this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna explain later. Oops, just open this and uh, I'm gonna comment all this stuff. Okay, now let me explain this. Okay, first uh, I'm not assigning any location for creation of my database as explained in the plugin. So you can see here the default location documents. Okay, so it will create automatically. Location 1. Okay, now coming back to the code. Okay, 
here I'm using the plugin SQLite plugin after that opening database that is the my.db okay after that I'm uh, doing a query that is uh, if drop table if exist taste table okay this is my table if it is available it will automatically get dropped okay and create it creating a new table in which ID primary key data text and a data num integer okay after that I'm gonna pragma table info okay uh, it will return the whole table information which already created with the upstate okay just note that we are gonna execute multiple queries on a simultaneously okay this is the first structure in which we are executing the two queries okay and after that again we are using the same db.execute sql after completion of the second create table query okay again we are using the tx.execute sql in which we're gonna insert some records and after that uh, let me alert this so we can understood it properly oops alert after that you also alert alert okay if we got any error then uh, we can get the proper message okay so now run this application so we can get the proper idea okay firstly I'm getting a simple alert insert LD1 probably one okay that means uh, this insert ID one and the probably one okay the rows affected should be one obviously we are inserting a record that's why after that we are fetching a select query select count ID as the CNT from table and it will return the total length of records obviously it's a rows length is equal to 3 and rows affected 0 because okay in which we have a 3 records rows affected 0 okay rows dot length is 1 rows dot item 0 cnt is 1 okay at once you can do the nested execution of your SQL now let's check the database location so this is our okay we are not uh, getting inside the app underscore database okay let's check the other folder database okay this is the database location okay if you select the other uh, location like then files documents it will goes into the files and documents okay so it's a better to create a database in the normal database folder okay guys I think according to me uh, this plugin is good to use okay but uh, just you have to check it once uh, for your requirements whether it suits your requirements or not okay if not then you can go with the built-in uh, web sql plugin in which you do not need to need any uh, plugin addition okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial related to the sqlite and web sql thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel till then bye bye